what it do youtube what it do so today i was listening to clubhouse you know thinking about a content to cover and one of the guys asked whack about him hearing the famous singer barry white was a gangster whack said he doesn't know anything about it and that's something he would have to ask his dad about the other guy said barry white grew up in east la by south park and the conversation ended there all because nobody knew anything other than that that's when i decided i would take a further look at it because I'm surprised to hear that Barry White was living in Los Angeles. That's something I never knew about, and it sounded kind of interesting. Yo, Wack, that Barry White was a gangster? Who? Barry White. Barry White, who was a singer? Yeah. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing. I can't speak on Barry White. All I know is he made good music. I don't know nothing about Barry White. And no like that person, you gotta, I don't know, I gotta ask my pops about that one. He from the east side. He from the east side of LA, but I ain't oh, never heard of him no gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he from the east side. He grew up playing in South Park and all that, playing his music. Yeah, I but know. you know. Yeah. I know he had great music, but as far as him being a gangster, all that, I, never yeah, heard that I ain't never heard that. I found an interview of Barry White which I'll play towards the end of my video but he actually mentions the gang that he joined in Los Angeles and he said the name of the gang was Businessmen. It was located around 51st and Avalon in South Central LA. All these years I never knew my boy was an OG out here in the land. Barry White was born in Texas but I'm just gonna say he was born and raised in Los Angeles because even though he was born in Texas his mom brought him when he was only six Six months years old to South Central and that's where he lived and grew up at ever since that age. When Barry White was around age 14-15 he was like the local bully in the neighborhood for people that's around his age and his brother Daryl was even worse than he was. They joined the gang and started causing chaos in the neighborhood. At that age he was already robbing people in the streets and breaking into homes. You gotta understand he was a very big kid for his age at that time so he was low key manhandling people like nothing. Barry White soon got busted by the police for stealing. It was said that he would steal a lot of expensive Cadillac tires. According to the newspaper at that time, they said Cadillac tires was a wanted commodity and Barry White knew about that. Police raided Barry White's pad and found that he had at least $30,000 you know worth of stolen Cadillac tires. So at the age 16, he was arrested and taken to jail where he was four months in there. Now the reason why a lot of OGs out here don't speak much about Barry White is because he was born in 1944. He came before the blood and crip era. He is older than most people. If he was alive today he would have been 80 years old. Now what stopped Barry White from gangbanging was when he was in jail serving those four months at age 16 one of the police guards started playing the song It's Now or Never by Elvis Presley. It's now that song right there is what inspired Barry White, you know, to pursue his talent in singing and the rest was history, my boy. He said in an interview that he actually still loves his gang and that he will never forget about the businessman. I heard about the businessman gang, but mostly from only documentaries. They are many generations before my time. But after researching and from what I can find, I learned that Barry White was a first generation Avalon businessman. He was an active gang banger from 1961 you know to 1963 before the Crips was born in 1969 my boy Barry White was already long gone producing music for a local girl band I read an old LA Times newspaper article you know that talked about the Avalon businessman it said the name businessman came from a slang term that the kids in the area would use at that time the saying was taking care of business and that's what it stood for you see back then they had gangs like the Slauson, the Gladiators, and the Dell Vikings all lurking the streets trying to make money and expand their territories. Now according to LA Times, the businessman has four generations that grew up in South Park and attended Jefferson High School. The oldest generation was the seniors, the second generation was the juniors, the third generation was the babies, and the last generation was the unborn. Now if Barry White never left the gang life alone, he probably would 
would have been amongst the guys to form up Avalon Gangster Crib. So the next time you guys listen to a Barry White song, put some respect in his name, my boy. Now before I show you a rare audio of Barry White talking about his gang, you guys let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe to my channel. Peace. I'm out. I love my neighbors. I love my guys. The businessmen, we were, uh, we were something to see. But uh, all good things must come to an end. And the day I went to jail is when it all came very clear to me that I had to change my life. I had to change my attitude. I had to change my way of thinking. Yeah, I even had to change some of my friends to get myself ahead of the game, to try to be behind the curve, you know, and, and deal with life so I could have a life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to tell my brother Daryl that... Uh, uh, we we gang banging and going crazy out here in these streets, man. But it, it it doesn't lead nowhere. All that gets you is old, like a lot of my friends were, and old uh, wine olds are going to the jail houses out there. It uh, it has no no positive ending.